Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the new OWC Envoy Ultra Thunderbolt 5 SSD. This is my first Thunderbolt 5 accessory, and I found out this existed when the new MacBooks were announced with Thunderbolt 5 along with the Mac Mini and the new iMacs and all of that announcement. I picked this up myself, I bought it myself the second it was available, I pre-ordered it and it arrived today. So this comes in two different sizes, two terabytes and four terabytes, 399 and 599. This is the the four terabyte offering and it's much cheaper than Apple's own storage. So it came just like this. Looks like we have an Envoy Ultra QR code to get more information about it. And then it says Windows PC important use tips. So if you're using it with Windows, you may need that. And here's the drive itself. So let's set this aside. That's all you get with it. And I did have a cable that I don't remember ordering that came along with it as well. So this actually was included. And you'll see it has a little five there to indicate Thunderbolt five. So that came with it. So I have an extra cable, which is great. And I thought we'd take a look at how fast this is in just a moment, but this is metal construction. So it looks like this could act as a heat sink. And underneath here, you can see this is the OWC Envoy Ultra four terabyte. And that's about it. So it's just metal. And then in here, see if we can pull this at all. It does not look like this is removable. So I don't see a place to remove it. So you may want to be careful with this. And again, it says OWC and it's got a five for Thunderbolt five. Let's go ahead and plug it into the latest MacBook pro that I did a video on the other day and see what kind of speeds we can get because you can edit off of this. It's much cheaper than buying Apple's own storage. So let's go ahead and unlock this. So I'll plug it in. We'll just plug it into the Thunderbolt five ports here that we have. There we go. We're plugged in. Let's see what speeds we get. So we'll go into black magic disk speed test. Now the internal SSD here is plenty fast, but let's go ahead and select the target drive on the side here. We'll select OWC and you have a drive guide here as well. So if you want to go into the OWC ultra, it's got its own guide that comes with it. It's an application and we can allow it. And it says, welcome to your new Envoy Ultra. I accept the terms and agreements. Click next. You can automatically configure it for Mac OS 10.13 and later and create a single APFS volume. So let me go ahead and click next. And I don't want the documentation installed or anything like that. So let's just get out of this. We'll close it and let's see how fast it is. So again, let's make sure we're selecting the right drive. We've got it here. We'll open and we'll click start. And immediately we're at 5,000 megabytes a second for write speed, 5,140 for read speed, and it should be capable of up to 6,000. So we'll let this run for just a moment. You'll see it's getting consistently about 5,144 for write speed, read speed 5,134. So it goes up and down a little bit. Let's stop it. We'll go into the options here. Let's switch to one gigabyte. And we're getting about 5,000 as well. So 5,400 or so. So very, very fast, plenty fast to edit any video. And the internal drive of this MacBook is equally as fast or a little bit faster. So if we select the target drive of this MacBook itself, now we'll just click start and we're at 8,600 write speed and 5,500 read speed. That's on the internal Mac MacBook drive. So you'll see if we select here, we're using the one gigabyte stress test and then try it again. Still 8,000 write speed that's on the internal drive. So it's 6,000 or 5,500 plenty fast to edit any video. And of course use that as sort of a scratch disc or something with final cut pro. So hopefully that helps you see how fast it is. Let me know if you've picked one up and I'll link it in the description. Again, I bought this myself, so it's not an affiliate link or anything, but just check it out if you're interested. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.